Are we inside a program of some type? In some type of virtual reality? Yes, we are. Why? As this experience quite clearly does not last. You see, reality does not have either a beginning nor an end. Reality is in fact unending. A fact that means that this place cannot be real. So then, what is the purpose of this virtual reality, of this place? Well, as I have entered into this human form in order to experience this virtual reality, it kind of stands to reason that I am actually here in order to become informed, to become educated in some way, to learn. Now this human form, this sense machine, is actually creating this existence for me. Through what I touch, what I smell, what I see, what I taste, and finally, what I hear. Something that it must do in order for me to continue to gain in experience. You see, without existence, there can of course be no experience, and so no chance of learning. I mean, just look around you. Would you say that you are surrounded by individuals who have varying levels of intelligence? Of course, some are far more intelligent than others are. That is certainly not to criticise anyone. Now, the thing with any place of learning, eventually the speed of the intelligence of the individual who is doing the learning is inevitably going to exceed the parameters of his current place of learning at which point that current place of learning effectively becomes obsolete and he must then continue to move on to the next level to his next place of learning <clears throat> you know rather like going from kindergarten to first school from first school to primary school and then finally from primary school to secondary school with many also ironically going on to later study at university. Now, were you to design a place of learning, you would make sure that any damage that was done within that place would have no bearing at all on the greater reality. And let's be honest, humanity in its current condition still has an awful lot to learn. We are nowhere near where we need to be in order to be welcomed into the greater community. I mean, just look at what we as humanity have done to the earth. Look at the blatant injustice, the clear lack of respect for human life, the endless wars. I mean, even for our entertainment, we like to imagine that humanity is going to go out into the greater universe and that we are going to have wars with other groups whom we have not yet met. Our selfishness is our downfall, our wanting our current lack of love and so we must continue to press on we must continue to learn all about our faults in by far the hardest of ways by actually having to suffer as a direct result of them something that I for one am now completely sick and tired of peace to you Andy